I'm on the trail of Andrew Tate, the so-called king of toxic masculinity, who's been arrested by Romanian authorities over sex trafficking and rape claims. Here in Bucharest, like much of the world, he's a divisive figure. I don't like him at all. I can say that I hate him. I, I don't see why people would hate him. He has the freedom to do whatever he chooses and pleases. I think he's a bad influencer. He said some wrong stuff about women, but at the same time, I think he guided like a lot of young boys, you know, through depression and struggles and like that. Tate has been outspoken about his views on women. In a video that recently resurfaced from his banned YouTube channel, he said the women that stayed with him could not go out. They're not allowed out. Like, oh, Tate's away, so they go out with their friends. No, 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 no. You don't go to the club with your friends. No. You stay in the house. And this is the compound that those women would have been staying in. Well, this is Andrew Tate's property in the Bucharest suburb of Voluntari. And this is often referred to as a luxury mansion. But if you look at it from outside, well, it looks more like a, a warehouse in a fairly dusty, tatty street rather than something terribly plush. You get a different story though when you peer through that gate over there, some, some small gaps, and we can see through that and there are four luxury cars lined up there. One of them a, a Rolls-Royce Wraith, very expensive vehicle. You also see a swimming pool and statues, you can see kickboxing paraphernalia and the name Tate has been put up on two of the walls. We know that on that side of these walls there is a very highly appointed, very expensively maintained property. So once again we've got this kind of curious duality of the luxury and plush side of that life over here and here, this rather drab exterior. But it was here at the end of December that Andrew and Tristan Tate, along with two other women, were arrested by Romanian police who say that this property is the heart of a web of criminal enterprise that has involved rape and trafficking. It is, of course, an allegation that the Tate brothers deny. After seeing the Tate brothers' compound, I headed to the courtroom where their hearings are being held. Well, Tate's most recent court appearance happened here in the Bucharest Court of Appeal. They were in that courtroom behind me in a hearing held in private. Went on for five and a half hours. Journalists like me were thrown out of the room just before the Tate brothers arrived. And there is huge amount of interest in their case here in Romania, in Britain, and of course, around the world. A lot of people want to know how this story ends, because if convicted of people trafficking, organized crime, rape, the Tate brothers face years and years in prison. It is a complex tale, so to hear what's next for the Tate brothers, make sure to follow Sky News on social media as we stay on the trail.